Hi again, this is Miss Aki. I'm going to show you how we can solve the potential energy of an object. So this is particularly the gravitational potential energy. I'm going to show you again the equation right now. So Pe is a potential energy. It will always be in joules. The mass will be m, and that will always be measured in kilograms. The g is a constant. It has a value of 9.8 meters per second squared. And y is the height of the object from the ground in meters. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. The apple is in a 3.0 meter high shelf. It if it has a mass of 0 0.20 kilogram, what is its potential energy? You may pause the video at any time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the PE equation, which is equal to M times G times the height of the object. In some textbook, you will see that the H is replaced by Y. It means the same. It's the height from the ground, which is a reference point. The mass we all know is 0 0.20 kilogram, and then the height is 3.0 meters. Now the G, like I said, it is a constant. You will always use 9.8 meters per second squared. You have to remember that these units will always have to be the same or consistent um, because we are using the metric system unit so that our final energy will be in joules. So all you need to do next is just plug in the values. PE is equal to, now you have to use the mass of 0 0.20 kilogram. It's always good to keep writing the units. That's one way of checking your answer. Now substitute H, which is 3 meters. And now go ahead and put in um, the 9.8 meters per second squared. I actually have switched the m times height times g. It's multiplication, so you can do that. Now, 3 times 9.8 will give you 29.4. Since you are multiplying meter and meter, that m actually becomes m squared or meter squared over second squared you're keeping that unit now you have to multiply 0 0.2 times 29.4 that will give you 5.88 joules you may pause the video to double check the values and then the kilogram meter squared second squared is the equivalent unit of joules you can just write down 5.88 joules or J, which is the unit of all types of energy. So if we go back to our uh, problem earlier, you can just go ahead and write 5.88 joules, and then you're done. So go ahead and use this for the next problems. Thank you.